In this one, we're going to try and make the paddle actually adjust to a new width if it hits the power up that adjusts that uh, thing. So the number is four, so wide paddles uh, on the map represented by a four. So let's head over to game panel, and we're actually going to uh, deal with a uh, new part of the collisions thing. So um, right before uh, the we're gonna do it right at the top, okay? It can be anywhere in that method actually after you create the rectangles. So um, the power-ups we wrote have this get rectangle method so they're able to generate a rectangle object that you can use to check collisions. Um, so in game panel we need to loop over all the power-ups. So say it's one, two, three, four, we just need to loop over them. Sometimes the um, enhanced for loops don't work quite so, quite so well because you want to be able to use the index value for more things. So we're just going to say i is less than power-ups dot size. So we need to loop over all the power-ups, i plus plus, and we need to get a power-up rectangle every time there's an item in the power-ups uh, array list, so we say rectangle pu rect power-up rect equals uh, power-ups dot get i and then we need to reference the dot get rectangle method from each power-up and then we just need to say if paddle rect dot intersects pu rect and we want to do something and we want to check what type of power up it is so if power ups dot get i dot get type equals we'll use the constant power up dot wide paddle and we have to uh, then then we want to do something we want to say we want to set the width of the paddle the paddle dot set width which isn't a method that we have written yet for the paddle so we need to write it and we'll just set it to a new width of the paddle dot get width times two. So it'll set it to twice its current width. But now we need to, I forgot we didn't have set width uh, over in paddle, so we need to create that method. So public void set width int new width width equals new width And game panel should be happier now. Oh, sessed width. Did I spell it wrong over in battle? Oh, yeah. Set width. And so set width. And then we're going to do something like set width timer. The paddle, we hit, which we haven't uh, made yet over in paddle. So actually, let's go make a couple things in paddle. So this should actually do it. Does this do it? I think this will do it. Let's try, let's see if it will actually change the width of the paddle at this point. I think it does. So, I have to catch a, it's a green one, right? <laughs> yeah, but you notice it's a little bit of wonky behavior. Uh, and why is that happening? Why does the paddle get so massive at this point? Um, it's because as the paddle is passing through the rectangle, it's colliding with the rectangle each time through the loop. So it's probably, the paddle is seriously probably like off the screen wide, crazy style. I mean, it went up exponentially. So we need to fix that. So um, we have to say, there has to be some way to know if power up was used. So we need to create a value called was used over in power up so that we can know if it's uh, if it should be turned off, uh, if it's active or if it's been used by a different object yet. So uh, private boolean was used, and we'll just set this to, well, we can do that in the constructor. You should initialize all variables in the constructor or in an init method. So 
was used equals false at the beginning, right? It's not been used when it's created. Uh, and then we need to create two methods, get was used and set was used. Public, public boolean get was used and return was used and public void set was used boolean used uh, was used equals whatever value is passed over through used and so now we can tell the computer that when it gets hit we should set the value of so powerups dot get i dot set was used to true because this was used so and then we in the if statement we should check if we should only enable it if was used as false and so not power ups dot get i dot get was used so if the value of was used is false then we want to do this thing so we just fixed our problem of it doing an exponentially big paddle so let's see if i can make it happen um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's do one more hit i think right so it doubles the size cool um, in the next little portion of the video I'll show us how to set a timer so that the paddle will shrink in size and then in the subsequent videos we'll do the ball speed and uh, different power up okay alright bye